It might be springtime in Austin right now, but the real estate market is feeling like we're still in the fall months. Now, let me explain in this market minute, I'm going to break down what we're seeing locally with our market stats and what that means for you if you're planning on a move in 2024. So in the latest stats from the Austin Board of Realtors, we can see that prices went up in the city of Austin. This is normal what we would see in the springtime, but what's unusual is the months of inventory and the number of days on the market. Normally we start to see the amount of inventory shrink because we have more buyers coming on that are buying up the listings. But this year we're getting more listings that are outpacing buyers. So we're hovering around four months of inventory. And what that means is that homes are taking a little bit longer to sell around 75 to 80 days or so. And also buyers are able to negotiate more. So the list to sales price is about 5% off. This also doesn't reflect discounts that buyers are getting. So they might still lower the price and get additional closing costs or incentives to help offset their interest rates. Now the center of the city in Austin is always going to be a lot hotter and harder to get into because it's already built out compared to the suburbs where there's tons of new construction. And so that's one of the biggest factors right now is all of the new construction inventory. I just did a search of our entire MLS. There's over 10,000 single family homes on the market right now. And about a third of those are new construction homes. And there's even more that are not reflected in here. So there's builders that are offering vacant lots where you can just build from scratch. They also have a lot of inventory homes that they just haven't listed yet because they're further behind on the build time. So there's even more new construction opportunities that's even not listed here on our MLS. So by comparison, let's look at Williamson County. This is the area just north of Austin. It's gonna include like Georgetown, Leander, Liberty Hill, Cedar Park. There's still a lot of growth up there. So in those areas, the prices actually went down month over month, just barely, but it's because of all the new builds. There's over 40% in the MLS that's new construction just in Williamson County. So what does this mean if you are buying a home right now? It's a good time for buyers because you've got a lot of choices. Um, you can actually think about homes and go back and visit you know, a second time or so. So you have a lot of things to pick from. You can bargain the price down, you can you know, negotiate closing costs to bargain your rate down. So you have a tremendous amount of power this spring than you might not have had in previous years. If you're selling a home, you know, don't get discouraged. We just sold a home ourselves and we're so happy we did it. You have to be realistic with your pricing, especially if you're competing against a lot of new builds. Everyone's going to pay more for a brand new home than they will for your older existing home. So keep your price in check. We know that we sold for less than what we would have gotten back in 2021 or the spring of 2022, but it is what it is. We've lived in our home for many years. We had a good amount of equity when we sold. We were able to put a big down payment on our next home and we use the fact that it's a slower market to bargain the price on the new home that we got. So we looked at it as a wash, you know, like yes, our value, home value was down a little from where it was a couple of years ago, but so is the value of the home that we're buying. So if you're staying in the same area, it's an even trade. We just need to look at how much equity you have and what you can do to leverage that in your next purchase. Now, the other big thing that is affecting our market right now is interest rates. Everyone was optimistic that rates were gonna start coming down in the spring, but from what the Fed is saying, it'll probably be later in the year. They're still saying they're going to cut rates. We just don't know where or when it's going to happen. And what was unfortunate is that in the last week, the rates actually went up again over 7%. So that's definitely put a damper on things and we're feeling it right now that some buyers are taking a break. But if you are someone that needs to move right now, there are so many different ways you can offset the interest rates. You can get seller concessions or builder concessions to buy your rate down, cover your closing costs. You can put a larger down payment. You can also get new builds where they're giving you fixed rates that are below the market value and fixed for 30 years. So there's lots of ways you can 
offset those rates. You can bargain and get a great deal now, and then you can refinance in the future when the rates do come down. Now, as always, every single neighborhood and part of town is completely different. So if you have questions about your neighborhood or your situation, just contact us with a link below and we're here to answer your questions. Thank you.